Hey what's going on people, my name is Nick, I am Australian and I make Call of Duty videos and today we have a new little series I am um, bringing out for you guys and this series is called Tactics and today we're talking about the topic Consistency. Um, so I'm going to be doing this you know every now and then and the whole series is as I said it's called Tactics but I'm going to be doing many subtopics in between and this today I'm going to be discussing the topic of Consistency on this game. Uh, but before I talk about the gameplay and obviously consistency, the topic of today's tactics series, uh, as per usual, you can follow me at Icod Australia on Twitter, and today you can use the hashtag iConsistency. That's a little i consistency. Um, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video and all that good stuff. Um, so basically, I want to um, go over this gameplay and um, just tell you a little bit about what I do to try and stay consistent on Call of Duty. But before I do that, guys, I'm using the AN94 Golden and I am um, on the map, uh, ooh, Cargo, I think it is, yes, Cargo. That is the map name. And um, I don't do too badly, I think it's 27 or 28 and 8. I do eight, die 8 times, but you know how I said I like to post gameplays that are exciting and fun. But today I want to discuss consistency. So what do I do that makes me consistent now? All of the YouTubers out there are not as consistent as you probably think. If you go ahead and watch, you know, x Jaws's videos, you know how he gets 80s, 60s, and 2, or 80 and 5. Um, obviously, he's a good player. Like, he's got to be a good player to be able to get that fairly consistent, like, fairly often. But don't think he gets these every game. Now, I can't guarantee that he gets these every game. He might. But I don't think he does. Um, but he's obviously still a pretty good player to be able to get it every now and then. And if you can get scores like that every now and then, you can call yourself a really good player. But if if you take into consideration the level of difficulty, the difference in players. So I could go into a game where it's a bunch of people who don't know what they're doing and I could absolutely destroy them. Then the next game I could come up against a bunch of guys who are brilliant and my teammates are crap. And then I could do really bad, so it varies, it depends on the situation and it depends on the game itself. Um, so different games like FIFA, you could be a little bit more consistent, um, like I am, I'm a little bit more consistent on FIFA than I am here. Online I tend to win a few like, more games than um, less, and um, especially on career mode and all that sort of stuff, I'm a lot more consistent than Call of Duty, but on Black Ops 2, like, maybe I'd have a good game sometimes two good games in a row, you know, with like more than 20 kills or even more than 15 kills and less than 10 deaths. Um, maybe once in... once in about five games I might have a really, really good game, you know, like a 40 and less than 10 deaths or something around there. Very rarely will I get a 50 and like one gameplay. My best gameplay, to be honest, on Call of Duty ever was only 56 and 3. Oh, sorry, no, not 3, 56 and 6, and that was on Black Ops 2. Um, I never got the nuke on Modern Warfare 2, although I never really tried to get the nuke, but I never got it, probably because I wasn't running high enough kill streaks. you know, the chopper gunner, Harry, well, Harry is chopper gunner and nuke, but, you know, I'm more of a player that likes to help out the team and not really worry about getting a lot of kills. I play a lot of Search and Destroy. Actually, Black Ops 2, I haven't really had the chance to play a lot of Search and Destroy and really run routes and all that good stuff. I've really been trying to get diamond for my guns, and in the future, actually, guys, I am going to be making a new series called The Diamond Guide, and they're telling you guys the best way to get diamond for assault rifles, some machine guns, uh, the shotguns, you know, all the classes, the snipers and the handguns, specials, all that, all that, and light machine guns as well. That'll be a future thing, because I've finally picked up on how to really get it a little bit quicker for me. I'm starting to get there. I've got all my snipers diamond. I did those first because I probably won't use those. I'm um, now I'm up to the, I'm doing the assault rifles. I've only got one gun gold, and that is on your screen right now. Um, that is the AN94. Um, I don't know how I got a hit marker there on that guy with that shotgun, but um, I'm actually I've got all my headshots for the uh, that four round burst gun XM8. I think it's called. Um, that's actually I'm not going to tell you. I will tell you that in the tips and tricks coming up whenever that video is. Um, but again, back to consistency, guys. It's just a matter of, you know, being in the right place, right time. you got to think smart. Like, here, watch watch what's happening on my sc on your screen. I am using this tractor's cover. He is never going to kill me from up there. He has three targets to aim at. I'm focusing on my mini-map. And it was never going to kill me. That tractor had given me so much cover. I don't even know if that was a tractor, a forklift. I don't know, whatever it was. And there you saw I hip-fired that guy back there. 
and that I would have easily been killed if I aimed down my sights. This guy, I'm thinking about it here, I know there's a little bit of a, that's a good little hedge glitch for sniper side, uh, for shotgun side, take out my shotgun there, I see this guy running around, take him out with my shotgun, I get a bit fortunate with this fella actually. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so if you want to be consistent, you've got to think smart, you've got to think on the runners. My game glitches up a little bit there. You've got to think smart about what you're doing, and I actually, and here is one moment you can get angry, okay? You can get angry with something like this, watch how this glitches me, okay? Yep, I think I'm safe, and look at that, whoa, okay. <laughs> he was shooting at you, and I didn't even realise that, I thought I was beyond the cover, but I got just thrown out there without even moving. When things like that happen, guys, just take it on the chin. Don't get angry, you know, it, it does anger you in inside, but you got to get past it and then keep going. I see a lot of people that are having a good game. I've gone into theatre mode to watch people's games, they're having a really good game. And, um, you know, and then they, um, something bad like that happens, something which really shouldn't happen, like that was a bit unfair. Not that he did anything wrong, it was just the game's fault itself, but you just got to get over it, take it, it's the lag, that's how internet games are going to be, online games. Just take it on the chin and keep going. If you want to be consistent, you've got to just ignore those sort of things and continue on. If you're not getting consistent gameplays like x -Jaws, start watching my videos. I'll give you a hand because I think I am fairly consistent. At least, you know, I'll have one game, one bad game in between maybe two or three and that sort of thing. And what I mean by a bad game is either being, like, to me, a good game is getting more than 15 kills and less than 10 deaths. For me, a good game in a search and destroy or a tactical based game is winning the game, no matter what my score is. Even if I go negative, I know I've helped the team. But on team deathmatch, the objective is to get as many kills as you can and try and die less than everyone else because in the end, you're playing team deathmatch and if the other team gets too many kills, you're going to lose the match. So always think to win, don't think about your score. And if you think to win, your, score, your kill death ratio will rack up. That shouldn't be actually on your mind. You shouldn't be focusing on your kill death ratio. To be consistent, you want to be winning a lot of games. That is the that is what you want to do in life. Win. Be the victor. Be on Okay, be on top. I won't use that word. <laughs> it doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. To be consistent, you just want to make sure you're thinking smart about the game. Think about what to do in that certain game type. Search and destroy. Think about planting the bomb. Think about going and defending the objective in team deathmatch yes you've got to think about kill death that's why you've got to think about every engagement you go into don't push forward too much here i push forward because i know that that guy's pretty much dead and that guy wasn't focused on me he was focused on my teammates that were over here and this is actually the end of the video guys so to be consistent just do everything right think about what you're doing and all that good stuff i don't know what the next episode will be i don't know when that'll be but i I might do some kind of diamond guide coming up next, guys. As we hit the end of the video, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Also, follow me on Twitter, at iCode Australia, and use the hashtag iConsistency to talk about this video. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.